In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create volumetric fog in DAS Studio using the Reality plugin. Fog is a great way of creating very suggestive atmospheres in your interior scenes, especially when you have narrow openings like windows. So this is the scene that we are going to recreate and uh, I'll show you how this is done in a few easy steps inside the studio. So let's switch to studio. And here is the setup. I'm using the Kingdom of Marrakesh environment. This is perfect because we have a, a series of openings here, series of windows on the top and the lower level. And let me switch to the perspective view. So we can see the setup from outside. Now, if you look in your content folder, you'll find a reality folder with three props. And um, what you need to do to use fog is to double click on this prop, the fog prop, and that will create a small cube. And then you resize and reposition the cube to wrap around your entire building, like in this case. And then you position the camera inside and the lights outside. In this case, I'm using a mesh light. And we can just zoom to it. So I'm using a small mesh light to simulate the light of the moon. Now I have an embarrassing confession to make. Uh, there is a calculation error in reality uh, that causes this cube to be exported at twice the size that is visible. And I'm going to just show what I mean with a quick test. So let's position, actually I have a second camera here called camera one. And uh, you see the cube, how it's wrapping the scene. And you can see that the cube basically just overflows the first step, the top step, just a bit. But that's a good reference point. Now we have our light outside here and we're going to render this scene through camera one here. So let's call reality. And I'm going to just double check that I'm using the camera one. We have two cameras here. So if I was to switch between the two, I can confirm my point of view, my render camera. And I'm going to just change this to be test and test right here and we're going to just change the size to 50% because for this quick test that's all we need so let's do a quick render here is the exporting geometry in the background and uh, in a second Lux will start and here we are so in a second, we should be able to see the cube of fog outside the building. Unfortunately, the sides will be wrong, but there is an easy workaround. So this is the reason for this tutorial to show you all the steps involved and how to obtain the right result. Now, even if the cube is larger than normal, many times that is not an issue, but sometimes to have a correct placement of the light, you need to have that cube sides correctly. So let's change our sensitivity, we go to 800 and uh, open our iris a little bit more and maybe even changing this. All right, so this is a little much. Let's close the iris a little bit, a little bit more and even a little bit more. Okay, so now we can see that the cube is extending way more than the first step. And I can tell you that the calculation mistake is exactly to double the sides. So one easy, easy workaround, let's close this and close reality, is to select your fog cube and go into the parameters. And in the scale, now this is 1530%. So we're going to change this to be 765%, which is 
half the size. Now the cube seems to be gone, in reality is you know, inside the building. But now, when we do a render in here, let's try again, double check. Yes, we are still using the test. Render frame, again, we are going to export the geometry, then call Lux. And then we will see, if I'm lucky, that the cube will extend just where the mouse is right now. So the strategy, if you're using Reality 1.01, .01, is to size the cube correctly, positions the light correctly, and then go into the parameters and half the size, half the scale of the cube, the overall scale. So let's adjust here our parameters. And you can see right here from the shadow that the cube is exactly where I want it. Just extending a little more past the first, the top step. So this is our cube as it should be, our fog cube. And that fog will generate the right effect for the scene that we've seen before. Because the light is just outside the cube and it will be going through the fog and then passing through the windows and because we do have the fog the small amount of fog will generate enough volumetric effect to see those rays of light going through the windows all right so we can close this now that we I have verified that our cube is wrapping around the building exactly as we want it so we can take a look at the rest of the materials so one of the things I change in here in the building is to set the floor to matte. It was glossy originally. Same thing for the ceiling. These are basically stone materials. So um, we just set them to matte. And uh, I didn't change any of the metals. They default um, to aluminum, we can probably make them default to gold, given the setup this Moroccan building will be probably more appropriate to use gold. The thing I change is to set every GL material here to glass, and you have to be careful to change the transmission to white, because I think I remember that by default it picks up the color from the shader and it's black. Um, glass generally, if you want transparent neutral glass, you want the reflection and the transmission to be pure white. And then I set the glass to architectural, and this makes the glass faster to calculate. It's a little less realistic, but it's perfect to let the light go through. Architectural glass requires a lot less light to uh, show transparency. So I did this for one glass and then I right clicked on this, selected copy, and then selected these two and applied paste. So that's the same thing. We have architectural white, white, architectural white, white. So these are the settings for the building. I didn't change anything else. Now, if we look at the bottom of the list, there is our reality fog. And uh, this is our cube, our fog cube. The material is set automatically by reality once you use the uh, fog prop. I changed the parameters to taste. Just uh, did a, a few tests and um, I came up with this configuration. 666, ooh, number of the beast. And uh, <laughs> exactly twice as much for the race, so 12, 12, 12. Well, this is just a coincidence. I don't have any connection with the devil. This is just how it works. And uh, once we have that, we can change this to be instead of test, we call it final. And let's call this final. and change the resolution to be, well, 75% of the frame, which is 960 by 540. And this is all that we need to do. Well, 
Let me resize this window a second. Okay. And then render frame. Oh, I think I actually made a mistake. I don't know what camera I'm using. And it was in fact camera one. So let's close this and just uh, switch to default camera, which is my interior camera and uh, select render frame again. Go through the export phase and uh, in a minute it will start rendering. And then I'll show you how to complete the illusion in this case. There's a little bit of adjusting of the lights that needs to be done. So loading a scene, we can actually we can actually see um, a couple of things in the in the scene just to recap what was done. So we wrapped the building with the fog prop positioned and then I used one single mesh light to light the scene. Now it's important to understand one thing here. See how small the mesh light is in comparison to the building? That is intentional. There wasn't an accident. I tried several different sizes, starting from something that was almost as wide as the building. And then I kept refining and refining and refining. And that is because if we are suggesting the light of the moon, then the moon is a fairly small object in the sky. And so this size of light is working correctly for this scene. And let's see how it starts rendering here. You see that we can barely see anything here. And this is because our exposure is not enough. So we're going to change the film speed and we are going to go to 800 ISO. Okay, we start seeing something. Then the exposure, I think I'm going to use a half second. All right, we definitely see something. And uh, now it's a little too bright. So let's, uh, let's try an f-stop of four. And this is more like it. This is more in the line of what I wanted. So this is a good result. It's not really looking like the moon though, because generally we, we think of the light of the moon in photos as you know, some sort of a bluish color, but that's very easy to fix. So we go into the light groups and I click on the black body temperature and I bring the slider all the way to the right. And you can see the light is turning bluish. And now we have a fairly good effect. So at this point, we only have eight samples per pixel. So it's uh, just a matter of let it go for enough time to clean up and uh, calculate more samples and perfect the image. And the result will be this. So this is how you use the fog in uh, reality and Lux. I hope this was helpful. My name is Paolo Ciccone for Preta 3D, 3D ready to wear. I'll see you next time.